a resource that we encourage all visual arts teachers to consider when teaching Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures is with an excursion to see the Art Gallery of New South Wales Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Art Collection. According to the pedagogical model for teaching Aboriginal students, eight ways of learning, environment responsive lessons and visual stimuli are considered Indigenous cultural competencies. Incorporating these elements into classes take advantage of the students' inherent strengths and encourage active participation. Visiting the Art Gallery of New South Wales would create valuable experiences that enrich Aboriginal student learning. The collection dedicated to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art showcases expressions through history, linking Indigenous cultural heritage to contemporary reflections of life in Australia. Excursions offer authentic learning experiences that students can engage with. An excursion as a method for learning allows students to operate as independent researchers outside the confines of the traditional classroom setting. Students can establish connections between tangible stimuli and learning materials. Paintings, weaving, sculptures and videography in the collection provide comprehensive insight into the Australian cultural landscape from an Indigenous perspective. This is reinforced with guided tours by the gallery's Indigenous educators. Having knowledgeable guides that empathise with Aboriginal culture could bridge any gaps of understanding students may have. Guided tours may also resemble story sharing, which is an essential way of learning for Aboriginal communities. Exercises about theoretical concepts of the artwork seen on the excursion given beforehand would allow students to gain the most from their visit. For example, students should be prompted to note observations in the context of the conceptual framework and frames detailed in the visual arts syllabus. These frameworks regard artist, artwork, audience and world as entwined entities. As students resolve exercises, they connect artist motivations to Aboriginal social and geographical perspectives. Discussions that revolve around motifs and symbols also link into the Eight Ways model. This follows Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development, where students are incrementally provided challenges along the appropriate support to facilitate learning at their own pace. The Art Gallery website also has extensive resources such as artist talks available as a further discussion point for students to engage with. Offering the perspectives of the artists whose work the students have experienced firsthand. The Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander collection, aligned with the visual arts curriculum, offers an invaluable insight into the histories and cultures of Indigenous Australians.